Well, it's Tuesday, a rainy Tuesday, but it means CTV's Bruce Williams is here to tell a story about something he's discovered and travels across Vancouver Island. Tonight, we spotlight a well-known island company and the remarkable story of the family whose name appears on their product label. Their determination and colorful climb up the ladder of success is another reason why Bruce says, I love this island. So we're spraying a code on the bottom of the can. Oh, okay. So the day Gerard St. Jean knows the ins and outs of his family business. Yep. From the seafood that goes into the cans to the production line that sends out more than 2 million units per year. The company was started by Gerard's father, Armand, 50 years ago. And Armand's story sounds like something right out of a Hollywood movie. He's from Quebec, mm -hmm. and at 16 he left home because there was a whole bunch of kids. Went to Montreal and became a pro professional wrestler. A real one in the 30s. And he wrestled right across Canada. And then he went to the Yukon and met my mother in the Yukon. What brought him to the island? Uh, Mom wanted to take the kids and give them an education. This is the place. This is the house where 50 years ago it all started and has now become St. Jean's Cannery. And it all started right over there in that garage. Something else, well, actually someone that's still around, is Gerard's mom. And at 92 years young, she still lives in the family home. And that's where he did the oysters, and then he would come in and use the stove to use for canning it. And that's Sorry. when he killed all my plants. <laughs> How did he kill the plants? Why did he kill the plants? Because he had the pressure cooker. And when he went to take the cover off, he's not a cook. So he picked it up, and the steam goes whoosh. He would uh, smoke his oysters, put them in a plastic bag, we'd staple a little piece of cardboard on it, and he would go around to the bars and sell them. When Armand turned 65, Gerard was asked to come home and help shut the business down, but he just couldn't bring himself to do it. It meant too much to his family. So with help from his brothers and his skills from the trades, the business lived to can another day. And so you have a magnetic elevator. My brother built that. Really? Yeah. Well, we built a lot of stuff. We built multiple the line. My background is design work and, and also welding, and my brother is a welder, mechanic, a truck driver, everything. The workers at St. Jean's Cannery are doing something no one else in Canada does. They still can tuna. An appropriate fishing cliche is the company's motto, the one that didn't get away. Well, we have a niche. We found a niche where we're, we're into specialty products and we're into a high end. This amazing family story and their business is another reason I love this island. Bruce Williams, CTV News, Nanaimo.